What's good, y'all? Y'all know what time it is. Hey, we, we, hey, we, we, we about to be done today. Once y'all see this video, the next one will be uploaded and we done with the top 100, bro. But uh, we at 20 right now with Deshaun Watson. Uh, hey, hey, hey. The list been pretty lit. I'm not gonna lie. The last two videos, I think I enjoyed. I think the one before last with the, the Neil Hunter. So that's 40 to 31. I really like that. But uh, we'll go ahead and jump into it. Deshaun, I'm a Texas fan. Hold on, hold on. I got you. Hold up. Had to just, you know, you know, styling and profiling, you know. But yeah, that's my QB, man. So, I watch the Texans more than any team, so I know all the good he does, bro. He up there with the top tier quarterbacks, in my opinion. But let's jump into it. Oh yeah, he's elite. He's elite. He's, I think he's one of the best quarterbacks in his league. He is, bro. Trust me. Like, I got respect for Mahomes, bro. I got respect for Lamar. But Deshaun, Deshaun is on the same level as them, bro. Deshaun Watson continued to establish himself as one of the most talented quarterbacks in the NFL. He's got the pylon. He's in. Uh, I think he came in with Patrick Mahomes, and to me, he's making the same kind of splash. For you feel me? That Patrick Mahomes is. Without him on it, that team don't go as far. Deshaun, wants to run Deshaun really is that is, is the offense, bro. Like, I think the best thing he does is elude people. We got him like third down, two people grabbed him, he slips underneath one and throws it to the tight end the other way, and he goes and scores. Touchdown! Watson's escapability also led him to seven rushing touchdowns in 2019. Watson cutting inside 10, the five still going down to the goal line. Yes, sir. Touchdown! Boy, he's carrying three pills to the end zone. Mm. He beats with his arm, he beats with his legs, or you saw against the Patriots, he can even catch a rock. Hands off to Johnson, now to high right side, he flips the ball to Watson, diving for the pylon, and he's got it! Razzle dazzle! Touchdown, Houston! Talk about the play where he got kicked. Oh, so Trey White is opted in after opting out. I didn't know he opted out in the first place. Has any has any big pro bowlers opted out? Like any big players? Because I know a lot of role players have. You know, he's feeling to see if his eyes there. Oh my god. Still throws a rocket right into the receiver's chest. With a swollen left eye, Deshaun Watson. Oh my gosh, that's tough. Sorry about your eye, brother. It's leaking right now, so you might have to wipe it off. You love competing against guys like that because you know they're going to bring the best out of you. Watson's best came out in the playoffs as he led his team back from a 16 point deficit. And Watson throws it to Jones. Cutting inside 40, 35, 30, the 25, 20, 15, and down to the 10 yard line. The hey, man. Does it again. The Texans in field goal range. This dude got all the potential in the world, bro. You you build the team right around him, he gonna get to the Super Bowl. Like his decision making is when it's all said and done, he's, up there, he's gonna be one of the faces of this league for a long time. He's gonna continue to get better and be a problem for anybody he ever played. Khalil Mack. Hey Khalil, okay. Monster. Khalil Mack. Yeah, yeah. What about Khalil Mack? <laughs> Solidified, that's what he is, bro. Future Hall of Famer, I already know it. Oh, he was three last year? What did he do last Little year for him man. to be three? He's a, he's a force. So he was three and Aaron Donald was one, huh? Oh my gosh. I mean, the dude is just a bully. <laughs> he gets the running back down and then gives Howard, just gives him some loving. I'm sure he's saying, great run. His speed to power his long arm. Uh, he has the best long arm in the game. Put that head on the inside shoulder of a tackle. And Mac sets Mahomes. Back to throw. In trouble. Hit from behind. He gets out nice and like, like he sets up and his leverage goes. pretty nicely. Just his presence in general is something that everybody has to game plan for. Everybody talks about him 
being this premier pass rusher as he is. This man Gruden. Gruden had no reason to trade him. Literally, none at all. I don't know what he was thinking. we played him, I was leading up to go and help the tight end block him. I gave him everything I had. He ate it. He said, ooh, I like that. I could see if Khalil was like a problem in the locker room or something, but. I see what's going on. I see how this game going to be. Khalil, Mack, Iron Donald, they require a lot of attention. Iron like Donald, bro, where is he from? Like what accent is that? Yeah, I'm like, oh, I can't see how they go through this every game. We try to find ways to wear them out, get him tired, get him to get off the field. And every time he got off the field, we try to go hurry up because every time he's on the field, he's messing plays up. I'm winning my rushes. You literally getting there a second before me. Snap back. Here comes a big strong oh, rush. Ball, ball's up. Literally getting there a second faster than I am. Much love hey, and much respect. Hey, oh, no. oh, no. My first mm -hmm. moment of came true appreciation for what type of athlete he really was. There was a play this year versus the Vikings. And he was able to push through the tackle, bump the guard, and make it there for the sack. Beating a true double team in aggressive fashion is one of the more impressive things I've ever seen from a defensive rusher. It's not fair, Jeff. He's too good. What's really unfair is a rookie tight end having to block Khalil Mack by himself. We audibled out of a play, and I got caught in protection one-on-one -on -one against him. Before the play, I'm like, holy, I'm about to go one-on-one -on -one and pass protection against Khalil Mack, but it didn't go very well. That's the... I don't know, that's not a matchup you've been going back on too many times. Travis. I'm out of the guy. Oh, I'm so happy for you. You worked so hard all your life. Never, ever really got the recognition you deserve. Travis got swag like a brother, you know what I mean? like a two-star. Never got enough credit for the type of athlete we were. And, I mean, when I look in my father's eyes, man, I know that I made him proud. And, uh, you know, <laughs> as a son with a father that loves him and believes in him that much, man, that's the world. It really is, man. You feel me, big guy? Love you, man. Thanks for always believing in me, big guy. <laughs> Yeah, my life. It's love, man. It's real. It's hard to imagine there was a time anyone had doubts about Travis Kelsey. Oh, man. I hope this good, man. Because today, it's hard to find a tight end more respected by his peers. Who is the best player in your position in the league? So, uh, I, I, I got to go with, with T. Kels, you know? Travis... Day in, day out, week to week, he's making. I feel like I give it to him like the best receiving tight end right now. Those are receiver type skills from a tight end. Kelsey over the shoulder, makes the catch in traffic, touchdown. I think Travis is atop the league in tight ends just because you know he's a very tactical route runner. His nuances throughout the game, just knowing what to do in certain situations. Kelsey, he goes, if I need to go two more yards, I will. If I need to go one less, he just has a great knack. That's crazy how many people are just tackling him. This is it right here. This is what we dig deep. We dig deep, we make plays. This one right here. In the divisional playoffs, the first tight end in history with four straight thousand yard seasons sparked an epic comeback. Boy, straight thousand yards. Here. Kelsey finished with ten catches for 134 yards and three scores. They got so many weapons. After another comeback win the following week, Kelsey was headed to his first Super Bowl and taking some A-list fans along for the ride. <laughs> In Super Bowl 54, the tight end who once fought for recognition. Touchdown! Travis Kelsey! The tight end whose father always believed in him. Made sure he will long be remembered as a champion. Oh, this is so beautiful, man. 
Nick Bosa, bro. He the highest rank, highest rank rookie, huh? You so disappointed in myself. Why? Bro, such a good opportunity. Oh, let it slip. This is stressful. Yeah. Just running in the family bloodline, I guess. And I knew it, bro. Was always talking about. It's he crazy because both of them still young. Better than me. I said no way. Then we, we he's showing. It. There's like a few people that play defense that I actually like watch the whole play in defense. Like he one of them. So aggressive and so physical. I love him, man. I tackle Julio Jones. In his rookie year, Nick Bosa showed he can play with the best oh my. of the league. Nick Bosa drops Aaron Rodgers for a 13-yard loss. He's a monster. He's, he's a beast. That's all I can say. Uh, you're going to feel it when he hits you. <laughs> I only played against him once, you know, and then we all know how that ended up. Bosa's been fantastic. Maybe the player of the game. Bosa turned the 49ers defense into a force, sometimes single-handedly. I ain't gonna lie, bro. He he definitely played like a bit. Like I said, I'm, I want to see how Javon Kinlaw plays because that I really feel like he gonna even upgrade that D-line. Actually, from Ohio State, and he has a long memory. He lost to Baker Mayfield in college. He got his chance for revenge in week five. Just watch his hands. They try to double team him. No double team, now. sir. That was a bad, bad effort in the, Keep, the, uh, by the guard. His hands really well, which well, is, is I guess the tackle didn't slide over. He beat it, though. Oh, my God. Ran over the guard, number 75, Joe Batonio. He wants to plant the flag right in the middle of Baker Mayfield's number six. Right oh, my God. Here comes Bosa. Bosa finished with five quarterback hits, two sacks, and one forced fumble in a 49ers round. As the Panthers' Kyle Allen will tell you, Mayfield wasn't the only quarterback Bosa made look bad. Here comes Bosa! Bosa gets him again! His third of the first half! Allen tried to throw a swing pass to the left and it's picked off by Bosa. Unreal. That guy's having a game. Hey, they got a list squad. We've been put down in line. At number one, you would put me in this situation. Can we split number one or it got to be one? <laughs> I would say, I would say, man, to tell you the truth, man, we got a legendary guy on outside of the ball on offense, man. 12, man. It's crazy because there's so many good quarterbacks right, right now, bro. I can't remember the last time when it was this many quality quarterbacks. Aaron Rodgers. What? I was teammates with him for three years. And his throws that he's made in practice that people have never seen that, like, I've seen. And I'm just like, they don't even know what he's capable of. A lot of people don't give him the respect and like scrambling that he deserves, but he keeps plays alive. He evades. Oh yeah, hey, right. He got some wheels. The pocket. There was pressure by Nigel Branham. He threw that somehow, and as Graham cleared, the ball was in his hands. What about Aaron Rodgers this year that you saw? You like, man, he still got it. What do you do every year? Man, make great throws, man. A Rod, great. Breeze, great. Brady, great. Mahomes, great. Washington, great. Lamar, great. And none would be any more accurate than that throw. Another thing is his release is real quick. This guy has the arm strength to throw the ball freaking 70 yards off his back foot. I just want to see. I want to see a change in that office with Lamar, though. He's looking at a guy. I'm thinking he's gonna throw the seven. I'm like, this man really gonna throw the seven. He throw a big post. 
And here it goes, perfectly thrown. His improvisation skills are off the charts. Roll out and throw it off balance, 40 yards. It's a nice ball. Center. Oh, that's a nice ball. Out of all the incredible throws Aaron Rodgers had made throughout his 15-year career, this one in Kansas City might have been his best yet. Throws it right side of the end zone. Is it what? Oh, a sensational play to Jamal Williams. What a play. Let's go. What a play. <laughs> hey, that was crazy. And he throws it. A remarkably accurate bullseye. I gave up on the play. I thought he was throwing it away. He I thought he was throwing it at the ground. Nobody knew where the ball was going until Jamal caught the ball for a touchdown. It was an amazing play, and I was like, man, that's Aaron Rodgers for you. Chandler Jones had a beast, a beast season. I feel like they did a lot of the Cardinals players wrong, especially like Chandler. Um, well, Chandler was here yesterday. What did he say? You got, you got some hard-hitting questions for me? Am I talking to you? Are you guys going to talk about how I didn't make the list last year? Hey, Jordan Hicks didn't make the list, did he? I don't remember seeing Jordan Hicks on his list. And he had a cold season. Oh, yeah, this play right here, I, I started uh, stemming around before the snap. And what I was trying to do was to get him to set me out and jump set me. I tried to get close to him so he can jump me. Did exactly what I wanted him to do. And I just jumped back inside, slipped inside, and sack force fumble. I was setting him up. I wanted to jump around and get right in front of him, right before a snap, so he thought he was close enough to jump me. Chandler Jones using the Jedi mind trick. Right when he jumped me, came underneath. Mmm, okay. I thought he was about to hop outside, so I could see that. He swam inside. Chandler Jones is always going to be uh, an elite pass rusher. Chandler Jones. Chandler Jones. Chandler Jones. Chandler Jones. Chandler Jones is an alien. Chandler Jones, one of those underrated players in football. While Chandler Jones might not be a household name, <laughs> he's made himself at home in the NFC West. You know, like most most Patriots players don't really pan out at other places. I was surprised he actually did. I want him tight enough to be able to cut off Chandler Jones. Chandler just kept at it right there. He's so talented, right? He's got all the kung fu moves. Like most Patriots players, they'll go places and then they'll be okay. It'll be good. He's he's still playing at a high level. Chandler Jones jumps on top of his back. Since joining the Cardinals in 2016, Jones leads the NFL with 60 sacks and is tied for the league lead with 17 forced fumbles. Mm. Wilson sacked by Chandler Jones. The ball is out. New York Giants. Uh, they put a tight end on me. Chandler Jones. A lot of people don't talk about Chandler Jones. See, Evan Ingram more of a receiving tight end, though. Remember, you know what I mean? He's not really. I had him locked on. I was on. I'm thinking I'm in good position. Nah, he just. He's he not really like. He literally threw me top, top me, blocker. But, you know what I'm saying? Said the ball is chopped off by Chandler Jones. Literally took the ball from Daniel Jones and got the ball back for our team. Chandler Jones with another strip sack. If I beat the guy that's blocking me, I'm not trying to just take the quarterback down. I don't care about taking the quarterback down. Let's get the ball. He was he was a force that whole game. Third sack today for Chandler Jones. There's a lot of guys in this league that have these tools but don't really use them. This guy knows exactly what he has and he uses it very well. Chandler Jones gets another one. Four sacks in the game. Who do you vote for number one? Chandler Jones. Chandler Jones. Hey, Chandler that boy Jones. Brady. Of course. Chandler Jones is number one. Good luck to you, bro. Good luck. Yeah, you're doing some great stuff. Appreciate that. Keep it up, man. Appreciate Big that. fan. Yes, sir. When he won his first award, like, I was probably like three years old, I think. All my life, I've been a fan of his. Mr. the six Super Bowls. Now he's looking at me, telling me he loves watching me play. I'm like, yeah, that's dope. Tom Brady said, <laughs> like, I get to rub that in to some people. <laughs> I appreciate that. You the GOAT. <laughs> people, people be sleep on time, bro. Like, he's still, like, the fans, I'll say. The players know what's up. The fans be sleep on him. I'm so happy to be in Tampa Bay. And I wanted to say thank you guys for welcoming me and my family into your community. 
I'm not going to. decision to take his talents to Tampa was the surprise of the offseason. I'm not going to exclude them from going to the Super Bowl because anything is possible. They, they have a good, a good roster. It's to become complacent. Uh, having all the success that he's had over the course of his career, it would be easy for him to kind of, you know, put it in cruise control. But his hunger to stay at the top, his hunger to keep getting better, to find ways to refine They offense game. good, defensive front is good. It's just the back end on the defense. That's it. Now he starts to roll to his right. Throws to the end zone for Edelman. Touchdown. And then we just got to see how everything meshes together. He's the greatest of all time. Um, his leadership, his competitiveness, his preparation every single day. You understand why he's been great his whole career. You know, when I was in elementary school watching him, which is crazy to say or think. I'm from South Georgia, man. Why would anybody in South Georgia have Tom Brady's jersey? When people would come to the school on Jersey Day and half the people in the school were wearing Tom Brady's jersey. It's crazy. And they were doing that back in 2005, and it's still going on now. He's one of the best, if not the best, ever do it. Brady under center. He's pressured. He rolls right. He throws it down the right side for an open bolt into the end zone. He just wants to go out there and just compete for 60 minutes. You know, throw a ball down anywhere. Let's go play. He's just relentlessly tough. Just the ultimate leader. Ready, hands up, boys. Good job. What do we need? Do it again. He does everything right. And instead of trying to make the show about him, he gets the ball to the pieces around him. It makes him so difficult to play against. I just feel honored to be out there. I mean, that's what this game is about, man. It's about competing and, you know, competing against the best. And I would definitely say he's one of the best, you know, that ever played this game. Got locked in now, laser focus. Getting everybody locked in, laser focus, making tough throws, everybody making tough plays. I really think those are the things that you you can't Man. measure statistically. They're really simple. Just think his receiving court. He, he went from Antonio out. Brown. It's really been remarkable to be a part of. Yeah. Josh Gordon. He's been the driving force behind everything we've done here. That was really his two best receivers and Edelman, but Edelman's not a number one. You know what I mean? He's more of a slot guy. Hey, Bobby. But the weapons he about to have in Tampa is insane. Just push us, man. 13, he gradu gradually, you know what I'm saying? He's the best position. Bobby Wagner, hands down. Bobby Wagner, I, st I still consider him the best linebacker in the NFL. He's a complete football player all around. You know, he's good in pass coverage. He's good at pass rushing. Yeah, he got it now. Now that Luke, Luke retired. Ain't no question now. It's underrated how well he can move because he's a bigger guy. He looks jacked out there, but the guy is so fluid in his movements. Man, you see where McDougal at? Jamal Adams this year. It's going to be crazy. Sideline linebacker can make all the plays, and you know, he's been doing it for so long. And, He's still doing that at a really high level. Here comes the rush balls tipped at the line of scrimmage. Bobby Wagner got his hand up. They still got potential to go back to the Super Bowl. Ball awareness. He knows exactly what's coming in his the speed and the way he plays his technique and the way he can take the ball away. And ball is intercepted by Wagner. Play by Bobby Wagner. I love yeah, bro, he complete. Like, linebackers, the QB key vision, the corner. Everything in the linebacker he wants. He may not got size, but he may go for it with, with everything else. Really. He hit. Let's go. We the ball up. Tackle. And he goes down like a sack of hammers. Plays coverage well. Bobby, you just got a A gap blitz and uh coming for the right back. He's trying to show the play action, but he has Bobby in pass protection. But I mean got that athletic coming at you full speed. I mean it's just tough. Ooh. They just, yeah, they couldn't do nothing about that. He came in too fast. The NFL in total tackles for the second time in his career with 159. He's a tackling machine. In the last couple of years, I've been hearing more about him because my youngest brother, Tremaine, you know, kind of idolizes him. I mean, Bobby make plays all over the field. Four-man rush for the Hawks to throw inside to Freeman, makes the catch. He drops the ball and comes out. Bobby Wagner picks it up. 
Just getting to the ball. You know, uh, he doesn't miss many tackles. Let's go! Let's go! We'll bring our ass! Let's go! We know where your play going! I mean, he's not good at game. You know, he knows what's going on around hey. him. Uh, I mean, he just made guys around him better. Oh, my. Well, it's always a pleasure to compete against you, man. I love working against you, bro. Seriously, you, uh, you know, you have no idea how much I respect you. Keep doing your thing, man. Always been a fan of Drew. Hey, man. A lot of people in this world want to be great. We're about 40 minutes now after a walkthrough, and it's only one man out here on this field. Only one man. This is what greatness looks like right here, man. There ain't no shortcuts in this world. Boy, out there visualizing. He was two last year. He makes Drew Brees so great is it's no secret. He puts in the work. I know he had a good season. I forgot it was that good. Drew, did you consciously kind of shorten your motion? Like when I remember you at Purdue, it was like this. Yeah, I was a bit longer. Yeah. At some point, I widened my base. Yeah, I see that too. And so now I short. It's a shorter stride. So I feel like the ball is coming out faster. Boy, it's so much technical stuff. I have no idea about about quarterback. Just uh, what was the one game? Yeah, like twenty nine for thirty. Just I mean, he finishes this game twenty nine of thirty for three hundred and seven yards, four touchdowns. That will break the all time NFL completion for. Is it twenty nine for thirty? He gets it done. If the ball needs to be put between two safeties at a certain angle, he'll put it there. Breeze drops back, looks to throw far side. Caught! I don't know if you can throw a football better than that. He's not even close to being open. He's not open at all. I'm not even talking about close to being open. He's not open at all. What Drew's able to do year in, year out is nothing short of amazing. You know, he had a thumb injury, and you figured that was sidelined him for longer than what he did. He came back ASAP, and it's back to routine as usual. That was a nice pass, nice little. Five games with a easy, injury. easy. Drew Brees Snap throw, the most just like that. Passer in the NFL with a 74.3% completion rate. He is far and away the most accurate quarterback in NFL history. The magician? He make it happen. You make it happen, maybe. Yeah, Drew make it happen. Make checks, read the defense well. He don't force any passes. Breeze backs out. Six seconds on the play clock. He's going to change the routes out to the receivers. Takes a snap. Four man rush. Breeze pumps. Comes back to the middle. Has a man wide open. Jared took it to 40. Steps through the tackle. Oh, yeah. 35, 30, 25. Blocker downfield. Camaro with the block. Five. Touchdown, Jared Cook. Tay again. Where did Tay again go? Because I think he's he not with the Saints anymore, is he? Oh my god. I'll give what y'all say. Drew Brees gives me down by seven points, and I put my money on Drew Brees. He can march on the field. Go. First battle Hall of Famer. There's nothing less to be said, man. The best passing yard, passing TDs. 540 touchdowns. Drew Brees take a foul. And he passes Pink Manning for the top spot all time. Also, let this serve as the congratulations for the touchdown record, because as you can see, I'm very busy. I don't have time to keep doing these videos for you, congratulating you. You're the best I've ever seen. Uh, he looks like a freak. You're the best I've ever seen. I'm serious. He's so explosive. He got no weaknesses. Well, Julio, man. Different breed, bro. Look what we had. I'd say, like, receivers like this, bro. Do you have any receivers that you watched? I mean, definitely best in the game. Definitely Julio. Who's your favorite wide receiver to watch? Corlin. Hey, Corlin gonna be on here next. He nasty. Corlin such a nasty, bro. Yeah, that dude's a dog. He is a dog. He's just a true dog. He's like a, like a real life alien almost. Uh, he looks like a freak. He really has every trait that any receiver has from small to big. Here's your game. Here's Julio crossing rock cut. This is absolutely insane here. Unbelievable. Some of the stuff he's able to do is just yeah, but you can say some mommy daddy thing. like receivers who had all of the attributes. 
Julio. Before Julio, probably Calvin. Before Calvin, probably T.O. He knows how to separate his job from his life. DK the next one. I think DK Metcalf is gonna be the next one. Definitely lead by example. Jones, incredible catch. This is Leo Jones. He come and work every day. So how am I gonna come and put my best foot forward every day? Last year, only one of the top 17 leading receivers entered the season over the age of 30. Julio Jones. In year number nine, Jones finished second only to Michael Thomas. Julio, Mike Thomas, uh, Mike Evans. To Tulsa, man. Uh, me, Chris Godwin, and Michael Thomas. Julio's always in there, too. Julio's always in there. Julio just set the Falcons franchise receiving record on a 15-yard touchdown catch. It's so funny. NFC players be biased to NFC players. NFC saying. in the game. Nobody messing with Julio. Let's check him out. Okay. Bam, bam. 30 plus right now. He's still running past folks. That's going to take the shot for Julio. Oh, the shoulder catch. My goodness. His route running, his explosiveness gives him a big advantage against opponents. A lot of guys are great route runners, but it's a difference when you see Julio because you feel him. You're like, okay, he's climbing on me. Julio's climbing on me. Oh, man. Julio does a great job on the route. He gets on top of the corner. Every defense that goes against him knows that they have to know where he is on the field because at any moment he can go off and make a big play. In 2019, number 11 became the fastest player in NFL history to reach 11,000 yards receiving. Best receiver still. Eight years to go. Yeah, he ain't messed with it yet. Not yet. And the thing about it is, he ain't not arrogant about it, but he know he's the best. He's the best I've ever seen. I'm serious. I know what this is his man. All right, y'all. Y'all see what's next. I see Derrick Henry number 10. We're gonna end it there. Uh, hey, I ain't got much to say. Uh, who we got, who we got, who we got? Drew Brees, Brees, Brady. We had three quarterbacks on the, in this one. Brees, Brady, and A-Rod. That's pretty dope. Um, Four, actually, Brees, Brady, A-Rod, and Deshaun. Okay, 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 okay. Hey, the quarterbacks respect that they all in the top 20. Um. Uh, Brady, I'm not, I ain't gonna say I'm surprised to see him up there. I'm surprised because I hear the fans bash him so much, so I just assumed he'd be lower. But I still got respect for him. I think he's still the top tier quarterback. Um, Breeze, kind of surprised, but like I said, still top tier. Um, Nick Bosa, I think that's the highest defensive rookie so far. He's 17. I think <clears throat> Saquon was 16 last year, so Saquon was a. Uh, Probably the highest offensive rookie. Uh, but yeah, man. And then the rest, I feel like just, you know, well deserved. Chandler Jones jumped up pretty high. Um, Travis, you know. But we're going to end it there. Appreciate y'all for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. Stay tuned. Stay blessed. You done messed up, A.A. Ron? Yeah. Hey, Hall. Man amongst boys, I walk with the Lord. Gotta be careful what you say because your tongue is a sword. Why you speaking what I think and ain't no.